When my guy violated Kisame so bad that he unalived himself. Is anybody excited? Look, son. Okay, so boom. The scene kicks off with Naruto, Yamato, and Killer B congratulating Naruto on mastering the ability to. <laughs> hey, son, look at my boy. Look. Look. I'm sorry, but look at him, dude. Control the Nine Tails Chakra. Naruto and Killer B over there turning up because he unlocked the new DLC. Naruto starts to give them the rundown on how he unlocked his new skin. But mid sentence, he senses that somebody is in the room. He immediately calls out the intruder, and all of a sudden, the Kisame pop out of Samehada. Kisame is shocked that he got found out because he blended his chakra in with Samehada. The problem is, is Killer B could already merge with his. Why didn't he sense it? I mean, he's just not Naruto, right? Like how you look. I know he smells like expired tuna and dirty pond water. Realistically, Naruto's new Kurma chakra mode gives him elite sensory ability, so that's how he was able to scope him out so easily. Killer B's so surprised that Kisame's even- Every second of this video is a counter. I have a song, with, I have a song for you. You sound like a hater! And still alive since he thought he popped his cap off so he starts interrogating him on how he's still alive but kisame not trying to answer too many questions because he got intel to deliver so he slithers <laughs> Bye, on out of there guy. with samehada naruto with his freshly unlocked abilities is not about to let him get away that easy so punches him right in his back Yamato and killer b see this and they immediately start gassing him up they over there talking about some the moment is quickly destroyed when kisame brushes that punch off like it was nothing and slithers out the door naruto tries to chase him but he he can't because he got his foot stuck in the wall. Now he over there screaming, I can't get out. Hulk smash the wall and chase after him. I know you not letting this stop you from the Back chase. Up. If that was Sasuke running out that door, this man would. <laughs> Thanks though, never let Sasuke escape. Ain't no way he would have let him go out that door, bro. He would have stretched his arm and caught his. He's fact, he right though. <laughs> He's to look into this waterfall and confront his true self. Guy originally says no, but Buddy over here <laughs> activates his instigating batch to get Guy to go to the waterfall. Hey, I understand, Guy. It's okay. If I was a sorry shinobi with no ninjutsu and a cut like that, then I wouldn't want to confront my true self either. Those few words alone was all Guy needed to hear because he immediately jumps in front of the waterfall. But instead of meeting his true self, Kisame pops out the other side looking like a creature from the upside down. Like, I know he's supposed to be a fish boy, but what is that? His IQ is very questionable because for a second, comes to the conclusion that it's a puffer fish. The other ninjas start cussing him out for being so dumb, but I'm honestly not even phased. I'm used to guy's IQ. You can't expect genius from a nigga with a bowl cut. But don't get it twisted though, because what he lacks up here, he packs down here. Now they can see that it's Kisame, except they can tell that he's much weaker. All right. This the last time I'ma comment on his looks, but look at this man. He looked like an aquatic roach. He had no choice but to be evil and join the Akatsuki. Like, imagine this coming to save you from a house fire. <laughs> no, I'd rather burn. I'm not coming with that creature. <laughs> Thanks, though. Some meant to be villains, bro. You can't escape the fate. You can't escape the fate, man. Nothing you can do. While all the ninjas are distracted looking at B and Samehada, Kisame slips under the water, swims over to Samehada, then grabs the handle to suck out the chakra from B. But it's too late. Kisame already done sucked out everything he needed. Ninja tries to stop him by throwing these kunais at him, but Kisame blocks them with his arm, then begins to extract chakra out of him. It didn't even take five whole seconds for this man to drop. This man sucks right here. This. Oh my god, you suck. His knees. Them chakra reserves are shallow as hell. And while this one's getting drained, the other one over here just watching. But shuriken or something, instead of taking action, his comrade fall to his knees and then dips out the seed. No name ninja then starts yelling, talk about some. He's fast and he's getting away. We, we gotta, gotta stop, stop him. him. Speak French now, cause you can't mean we as in all of y'all. I just watch you turn on the jets just from seeing your partner drop to his knees. Is you not doing anything? But honestly, it don't even matter because oh. we got a real go getter on the squad. Yeah. You know who guy remind me of in moments like this, bro? This when he fighting Madara, you know who he remind me of? He look like me at this time. <laughs> he really do. He, he like he just got the dog in him. He just got the dog in him, man. And opens up the sixth inner gate. Okay, and he's on timing. No talk, all action. That's a Taijutsu yeah, king yes, right sir. there. Do not play with him. Killer B then enlarges his hand and launches Guy through the air. Now Guy up there soaring through the clouds, scoping the scenery out. He's trying his best to locate Kisame, but then he realizes he needs another boost. So what does this man do? He summons Franklin the turtle and says, I, I need, need to, to borrow, borrow your back. back. Then proceeds to Mario jump off of him, sending the turtle crashing into the ground. First 
first off, I need to borrow your back. Pause. <laughs> Secondly, this is disrespectful on so many levels. These summons just live in their life and can randomly be called in the middle of a battle at any time. Franklin even says, I haven't I seen you, you forever. in forever and this is what you called me for? Well, His saying. feelings are hurt. Being called upon just to be used as a trampoline is crazy. I might even put this over the time Sasuke summoned Manda just to protect him from an explosion because this is nasty work. Kisame thinks he's in the clear now, so he summons a shark, regurgitates a scroll full of intel, then gives it to the shark and sends him on his way but before the shark could even get far guy comes crashing down ready to stop him in his tracks he's may not going out easy so he activates his thousand hungry shark jutsu and sends them to guy but my man is not phased in the slightest he jumps in the air and starts punching so hard that friction causes fire to come out do you know how hard you gotta punch That's the air I'm to saying, create dog. fireballs listen to the words this man is making guy Twin. just built different some of the sharks are destroyed by guy's fireball blast but it's still not enough to get rid of them all. Guy determines that he has to expand the blast radius so he dives in the water and opens up the seventh gate and he starts giving Guy his flowers but he says something that made me raise an eyebrow. A shinobi this skilled in Taijutsu is rare although I have known two others. I beg your pardon? Two other ones. Who you known? Who are you talking about? Lee's nice. Guy's dad is nice but they still not touching Guy so who is Buddy talking about? Who, who are you talking about? Made ready to wrap this up so we activate I want to know now too. I forgot he even said that who's the two who could possibly be better than two be better in taijutsu than guy i don't even think madara is better than tai in taijutsu because he about to get me tight he made ready to wrap this up so he activates his super shark bomb jutsu but to counter my guy busts out his hero dora now kisame's giant shark and my guy's giant tiger are charging at each other this is why it's important to read the scouting report because my guy's hero dora isn't fueled by chakra it's fueled by the power of you my guy's hero dora ends up completely <laughs> overtaking kisame's shark bomb and ultimately wipes all the other sharks out completely the cameraman then pants to yamato Killer B, Naruto, and the no name ninjas seeing the explosion caused by Guy's attack. Everyone's confused as to what they're seeing, but Yamato lets them know that it's Guy's afternoon tiger attack called the Hirudora. Hirudora? What a lame name for a jutsu. I thought Guy Sensei wanted to sound like a young shinobi, not some old dork. Naruto, where are your parents at? Huh? How about that? Where are your parents? The Hirudora turn. Hey! Hey, what's with the left hooks, my boy? What, like, what did he do to you? What did he do to you, bruh? He was just saying he didn't like the name, bro. It turns out to be so strong that they end up feeling the blast radius from there. The blast starts to calm down, and then we see Guy Sensei standing over Kisame with the scroll in his hand like he just posterized him in a game seven. Just staring at each other, not saying a word. Until Kisame twitches his thumb ever so slightly. Guy to punch him right in the stomach. In his guts, Guy hauls him back to the squad where Yamato restrains him with his wood style. Kisame off of pure strength alone breaks himself out the Kisame, Kisame strong is him though he was a solid character man Yamato's wood, and then traps himself in a water prison guy tries to punch a hole through it but he's unable to penetrate the barrier so yamato starts to boot up his wood style in an attempt to get him out but both of their efforts are futile because kisame has already made up his mind this man proceeds to summon three sharks inside the water prison then allows them to rip him into shreds ultimately unaliving himself for good you know how it be after someone passes now they saying all the best things about them he was <laughs> such a sweetheart and a joy to be around he didn't deserve this yeah. what are you talking about that man punched three babies in the dome and has seven bodies in six different states i'm surprised it didn't happen sooner overall a tier fight kisame definitely put his skill willpower and determination on full display but ultimately it was guy and his squad that got the w in the end w ass video